Uh, if you've got thoughts, people, on law and order, on how we clean up our streets, on how we stop this epidemic of crime, give me a ring, 0800 332283. And I want your observations as to how you feel in your city, in your town. Do you feel less safe walking the streets than we used to? And this is where, hold your hats, my rave comes in. When I was looking at setting up the platform, it was funny, I looked around and I've got to say, the person who owns the building we are in in Wellington has given me a reasonable, a very reasonable deal, a person who philosophically understood what the platform is about and was prepared, I guess, to give me a discount on the rent here. But funnily enough, I have ended up setting up the platform straight across the road from where I had my first ever job in journalism at Radio Windy in Manor Street, Wellington. Um... When we moved into Manor Street, and I was 20 years old, um, it was a mall, Manor's Mall, Wellington. It was the hub of street life, of glue sniffing, of skateboarding in Wellington. Manor's Mall was it, man. We were the heart of the throbbing city, and it was pretty good then. But at Manor's Street, because of its central location, has always had its issues and problems, and glue sniffing, I think, became the big problem. And street kids, as they were called, street kids was the trendy name for street kids. Street kids tend to take care of themselves. They dried, died from sniffing glue or when it got cold in winter they went home to mum and dad, right? Um, but I, so I have returned, strangely enough, after many, many years, after nearly 40 years, I've returned to Manor Street. Um, but Manor Street is no longer a mall. It is a buses only two-way street. And it used to be a, a, a kind of hive of student activity because there were a number of, you know, accommodation units with shoebox apartments uh, where foreign students before COVID used to come and live. It has a number of uh, shops, kind of, well, I don't know, Asian retail shops and everything on it, Manor Street, some good food places. But what happened during COVID and what happened during the housing crisis was they turned all that accommodation, three or four, I think, locations within just a couple of blocks of this building, they turned it into emergency or social needs housing. Um, and not for nice families who are having a hard time and were transitioning through. For hardcore people with serious drug and mental health problems who now are crammed into these inner city dwellings, one of them straight across the road from here. I turn up for work, um, I'm walking the streets just after six most mornings, walking into work, 6.30, and certainly a lot of mornings there are two or three of them out literally baying at the moon. Um, but what they do for the rest of the day is they f f uh, form small groups around Lower Cuba Street, Manor Street, McDonald's on Victoria Street and other places, and they sit outside shops and ATM machines begging for money, they take drugs and they drink and they fight amongst each other and they scream at passers-by and they harass school children and they kick in windows and they smell and I might not be showing much empathy. They harass me. They harass my staff. They harass the dairy owners on the corner straight across the road from Manor Street. And I've talked to the people who work in that night and day shop where I buy my paper every morning and they have I have seen them in tears at trying to control these absolute antisocials who roam Manor Street. Um, they, I was talking to actually the young woman who most often sells me the newspaper in the morning yesterday. She says she's made two written statements to police. The owner of that business of that night and day has tried to get action and nothing. And they hang around outside there or they go into the shop and abuse people. Half of them need to be in institutions. They are crazy or drug addled. Uh, you know what I don't see in Manor Street anymore? I don't see any cops. I don't see anyone making a difference to what is turning into an urban hell. And the council, the mayor of which will not speak to me because she's green aligned, the council have the paniki promise. And you know what their answer to the increased lawlessness and edge of central Wellington is? It is to knock down some toilets in Pigeon Park. 
That's their response. That's the Paniki promise. And I imagine that my, and I, this really has been on my mind increasingly in recent months, my outrage and anger at the degradation of my living environment, where I come to work every day and to where my staff comes to work every day, I imagine this is happening all over the country. I imagine this isn't just specific to Manage Street or me. And we have to do something. And I'm going to be brutally honest, I don't think tolerance for people who are antisocial, for those who beg, act unusually, I don't want to be diverse. I want them to get them off our streets where they're, they're harassing and making people uncomfortable. And if we've got to rebuild institutions that we put them in and take care of them, I'm all for that and I'm happy to pay for it. But I'm not happy to live in Nutter's Alley. That's what I call Manor Street. It is now Nutter's Alley. And our council and our police seem to want to do nothing about it. And I guess I'm going to say, I'm going to say this, someone will be killed in Manor Street in the next six months if police don't clear it up. Something is going to go wrong there with those violent, anti-aggressive people, aggressive people, anti-social, aggressive people that populate that street. And there's my warning, like the dairy owners were saying, and I'm sure it's the same in your community. We have to get serious. And I think the only way we can do that is from the ground up, from the bottom out, like Rudy Giuliani, like broken windows. And I'd just love to see... It's not about boot camps, uh, Chris Luxon. It's about local cops, local government getting out and cleaning up our streets. And I'm sorry, maybe just hardening our hearts a bit and realising that diversity uh, does not create the perfect world you think it does. There you go. There is my rave. And... If you live in central Wellington and you've walked round Manor Street, Lower Cuba Street lately, I'd love to hear from you.